Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Senior Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Kelly Pickerel, Editor-in-Chief. When it comes to solar projects, the main goal is producing as much energy in as little space as possible. That's why high-efficiency solar panels thrive in the residential market, where ideal roof space is sometimes limited. When traditional solar panels average around 16 to 17% efficiency, modules labeled high efficiency are at least 19% efficient. The main benefit of higher efficiency modules is greater, more reliable power yield. Efficient cells produce more power over a longer period of time, and the advanced production methods that panel manufacturers use to get higher efficiencies often lead to a more dependable product. Increased power and efficiency also means an increased panel price, but more powerful modules can sometimes actually save money in the long run. Manufacturers increase efficiency in a number of ways. Solaria doesn't use bus bars or ribbon interconnections and places its cells closer together, reducing inactive space between the cells. This leads to higher power and efficiency. SunPower and LG use back contact technology, which makes all electrical contacts on the back of the cell and creates maximum space on the front to capture more energy. So if high efficiency modules are so great, why aren't they being used across the board? Larger projects don't usually use high efficiency modules because stakeholders are more concerned about overall costs. These types of panels are more expensive. But high efficiency panels can make financial sense when shading or other obstacles prevent a consistent stream of sunlight. Since production has to be maximized in the few spots where panels can be successfully mounted, more expensive high efficiency brands are trusted to generate more power. For more on high efficiency solar panels, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basics videos.